1959 D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 68 read by PCGS. This is the single finest 1959 D. Lincoln sent at PCGS, a must-have coin for an advanced registry set builder. Wisps of powder blue and lilac color complement beautifully preserved copper orange surfaces awash in satiny luster. It was sold for $38,400. 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet. Rare transitional alloy error. NGC assigned AU details for this allegedly clean quarter dollar. A search of our online archives reveals a dozen prior appearances of 1965 quarters on 90% silver planchets. Although untold millions of silver quarters were struck in 1965, those pieces were on 1,964 date dies, aside from a few dozen transitional alloy errors. This example is lightly toned aside from hints of russet patina on the reverse margin near 4 o'clock. The satiny surfaces display faint hairlines. It was sold for $5,880. This is 1966 Kennedy half dollar from Special Mint Set. Graded in MS-68 condition with deep cameo condition. A truly remarkable example of both the type and issue, both sides are fully untoned with bold field to device contrast. Virtually pristine, as well, and sure to catch the eye of discerning Kennedy half dollar collectors. Although the mint improved the quality of the 1966 SMS half dollar issue after receiving complaints about its 1965 SMS predecessor, precious few survivors from a mintage of 2,261,583 pieces exhibit enough contrast to support a deep cameo designation from PCGS. This gem was sold for $7,200. 1956 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, from a mintage of more than 44 million pieces, the 1956 Washington Quarter is readily available in high grade, but the issue becomes scarce at the MS-67 grade level, and finer coins are virtually unobtainable. PCGS has graded only three coins in MS-68, with none finer, while NGC has graded five examples in MS-68, also with none finer. This spectacular MS-68 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and attractive highlights of lime green toning. This specimen was sold for $5,280. Attractively toned 1955 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 68. According to NGC, dime production plunged at all three mints during 1955, with Philadelphia registering the lowest mintage of any Roosevelt dime made for general circulation. Since monthly mintage figures were published in coin periodicals of the time, collectors and speculators knew almost immediately that this was an issue to hoard, so there will never be a shortage of 1955p dimes in mint state. Most examples are a bit softly struck from overuse of the dies, and the discriminating collectors will seek a sharp specimen from among the great many certified gems. Full torch coins are rare, due to the poor quality control practiced by the mint. This MS-68 specimen ended up selling for $9,300. 1925 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. The 1925 S. is among the most challenging Lincoln Cent issues for the high-end enthusiast. The most problematic areas are color and strike. In his complete guide to Lincoln Cents, David Longy lays out his view, Mint State specimens, while not rare, are usually of mediocre quality. Quite a number survive with a moderate amount of original red color, yet these are almost invariably poor strikes. Lang later notes that, Anything even approaching the gem category is of the highest rarity. As is the norm for the handful of high-grade representatives known, this elusive gem example displays characteristic rich reddish-orange color. The strike is far superior to the typical uncirculated survivor, with almost a complete strike. Even the wheat stalks are razor-sharp. It was sold for $36,000. 1912s Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-66 read by PCGS. From a smallish mintage of 4.4 million pieces, the 1912 S. Lincoln Cent is a better date in the popular series. With red surfaces, the 1912 S. is a collectible issue in grades up to the MS-65 level, but specimens in MS-66 are condition rarities. This spectacular premium gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements, and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $10,200. 1952 S. Roosevelt Dime graded as MS-68 Plus by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue enjoyed the highest mintage of Roosevelt dimes from San Francisco, and it is plentiful across all grades through MS-67. Full torch examples comprise a higher percentage than usual for S-mint dimes and are scarce, but not truly rare. But anything grading higher than MS-68 are relatively rare. 
This toned MS-68 Plus specimen was bargained for $8,831.25 with buyer's fee. Here is 1934 D. Washington Quarter with heavy motto and small D. Mint mark. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. This enchanting superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides are dressed in a bold array of multicolored iridescent toning that includes shades of pale apricot, pinkish rose, golden olive, champagne pink and pearl gray. The FS501 attribution of this issue refers to what Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton, Cherry Picker's Guide, 2012, believe is just a single leftover die from the 1932D issue, attributable by a small d mint mark that is also known as the type of 1932. The authors describe it as, a rare variety by any standard. It was sold for $11,400. 1941 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS-66 Red, a desirable double die variety with the strongest spread on the 4 in the date and the Burr in Liberty. Cherry Pickers lists three DDO varieties for the issue, and FS-101 is intermediate between FS-102 and FS-103 in terms of importance. This MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $2,160. 1946 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to NGC, with a high mintage for a San Francisco mint coin and the usual hoarding of S mint cents by collectors and speculators, this issue is quite plentiful in mint state grades. Even gems are only slightly scarce, though the more astute collector will want to hold out for one which is fully struck from fresh dyes. These are surprisingly difficult to locate, as the San Francisco mint in the late 1940s was very budget-minded and ran the dyes way too long. This elusive specimen was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. 1964 Lincoln Scent from Special Mint Set. Widely known as SMS Scent. Enigmatic Experimental Mint Issue. According to Heritage Auctions, there is no way to explain the existence of 1964 SMS coins. These coins have a special finish, often described as falling between proof and mint state circulation strikes. They closely resemble the 1965 Special Mint Set coinage in terms of quality. Speculation suggests the 1964 SMS coins were struck as mint trials prior to the introduction of 1965 special mint sets. Or, they may have served as special presentation sets. But the mint does not report any such mintage. It is thought no more than 50 1964 sets were produced. This MS-65 red scent example displays the appropriate razor-sharp strike and obvious dye polishing to create its special appearance. It was sold for $18,000. This is 1961 D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. Undoubtedly from an original mint set, this originally and attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Although available in an absolute sense, late-date 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as the 1961 D are surprisingly rare in the finest mint state grades, as here. It was sold for $24,000. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, few other issues in the Lincoln Wheat Cent series are as challenging as the low mintage 1914 D, 1.1 million coins. Survivors prove particularly elusive at the gem grade level, especially with red color. Satiny luster washes over clean golden orange surfaces. There are a few variations in hue with elements of rose, green, violet, and steel blue, all of which enhance the visual quality. The raised design elements are uniformly well struck. Housed in a green label holder, it was sold for $15,000. Highly sought after wartime era penny. 1944 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded as MS-66 red by PCGS. Although this premium gem red piece is certified in a green label holder that far predates PCGS certification of cherry pickers varieties, this piece, merely identified as 1944 D over S on the insert, is clearly an example of the strong overmint mark, FS 511, rather than the weaker FS 512. The broad sweep of the top loop of the undermint mark S is clearly discernible above the top of the subsequent D, and remnants of the S also appear within the D. The FS 511 is far more elusive and in demand than the FS 512. This piece shows distraction-free golden orange surfaces that are well struck as a bonus, an absolutely top-notch example of this guidebook listed variety. It was sold for $13,800.